What's up, y'all? I am back with another video. It is a breakfast bang up in here. What's really happening? Time to wake y'all up up in the his house. Okay, we got some French toast, we got an omelet, and we got some sausage. And I got my Aunt Jemima. I got a little whipped cream and uh, fruit on top. But it's kind of melting because it's uh, my French toast is hot. And I got water to drink. So, y'all, let me bless my food. amen so y'all let me tell you okay so um topic of discussion what's going on with the lady that runs the channel too much sugar what's happening with her who is she let me tell y'all something right i know y'all probably look at all my videos and trying to figure out like what happened to her why she look like that? What's wrong with her face? And all a thousand, uh -oh, a thousand other questions that you might have. Well, today, today, baby, I come to tell you. Okay, you remember that little rap I had on my on, on one of my uh, videos I did? And I was like, breaking out my whistle, calling all the dogs out. Y'all about to see what all about ain't nobody looking for no facebook clout but walking in my destiny is what i'm all about i see you trying to hinder me gonna make me show out keep on block me i'ma call the demons out i'ma call the dogs out <laughs> but yes y'all yes y'all let me just tell y'all so you know you know I, I i know we've been having a lot of racism and um a lot of uh, what you call that white supremacy and stuff like that because you know white supremacy they want to dominate everything um when you like that when you have a, a control problem and you want to dominate everything you might want to go get your dome checked out because People that's like that, that have to control other people, it's so ungodly to be that way. And it's so wicked. It's so wicked, you know? Like, imagine if it was you being controlled like that. Imagine if the shoe was on the other foot. Would you want somebody to control you like that? I think not. I don't think you would want to be... Uh, dominated like that because we do a lot of black lives matter black you power black girl magic and you know like like i'm all for that but if you are a black person and you hindering another black person why are you even speaking out about black lives matter why are you even talking about black power because you are part of the black on black crime so you need to reevaluate your motives before you do something because motives is everything when your motive is not pure you know that that's not godly you know that's not godly when you got unpure motives and you want to be talking about some black power this black power that i can't agree with you on that can't agree with you on that especially when black people participate in hindering black people how can you participate in genocide how can you do that and you are you black yourself what if it was you what if it was your family what if it was what if it was your kids what if it was your mama what if it was your sister what if it was your brother Do you know what that stuff do to people? It's wicked. That's what you see in my videos. It's only by the grace of God that I lasted through it. Because I could have died through it. I know this video is going to turn some people off. I already know it. And it's okay. But to know me is to love me. 
Don't tell me you love me. You don't know me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, y'all. It's not right to to be like that. You can look at my videos and you can see the genocide happening through me. Affecting the whole nation, yeah. Because it's going to change the mantles. Everybody's mantle is being shifted. But genocide is ugly. It's an ugly thing. It's deadly. I could have died. Now they genociding my kids. You can't see it in one of their videos? On my videos? Oh, you see it. You see it. And then evil in this wicked. And a hurtful thing about it is my friend was participating in doing this to me. And I've been knowing her for almost 15 years. Cried with this girl. Prayed for her. Labor in prayer for her. I'm talking about fasting for her. When she was hurting, I was hurting. You know what I mean? Like, she was going through some stuff with her kids, daddy, and I was there for her. You know what I mean? Like, I was trying to push her through. And how dare you do something like this to me? Then take all of what belongs to me? What was supposed to be my destiny? Man. Run, set me up. Baby. Mm-mm. Then when I tell a story, people want to get mad at me or they want to say, you know, because people's perception of things is, is different. And I can't, I'm not trying to, I can't change your perception. Maybe I could. But that don't be my point of, of sharing it. My point of sharing be so that people become aware of the things that go on. We should be overthrowing the governmental system right now. Whenever they want to genocide the nation. Genociding is so evil. It's evil. I want to be me. I don't want to be the next person. I don't want their mantle, their spirit over me. I want to walk in who I'm supposed to walk in without you robbing me of having a life or hindering me from prospering. Because I'm, I'm not finna preach no gospel. I'm just going to preach life. Because I ain't no preacher. That's not, I'm, I'm not finna, I'm not finna, no. Mm -mm. Now when I look at my kids and I can see the genocide in them, mm -mm. that's so evil. And then you do everything you can in your power to hinder somebody from prospering. From hindering somebody from being a blessing to you? Like. Sometimes I be sitting up there saying to myself. I be thinking why do this world got to be so wicked? Why, why, is, why do people have to be so evil and cruel? And manipulative and deceitful? What is it that people can't just. Humble themselves and be real with themselves and be honest with themselves and and look at themselves in the mirror. What's wrong with y'all? Not uh y'all don't. Cause this probably ain't highly none of my subscribers know know about this, but oh. And to all my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Over here, I know I be talking about some tough stuff, but America saying coronavirus is taking people out. This is part of genocide, if you ask me. This is just another way to genocide the nation. Make everybody sit still. Let me be able to genocide through this one person so I can control the nation. Evil. They did this to my family for years. Because when you genocide, when you genocide through a person, they, you're taking away their ability to discern. 
between good and evil, and that is evil. You're taking away their ability to decide what they need to do. You breaking their spirit down. And whenever you come and you breaking somebody's spirit down like that, they're not able to uh, maneuver and move like they ne you need to. They're not able to function like they need to because you have sent that Leviathan spirit to clutch and grab a hold of them. And if they don't have a covering or, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody that um, know what's happening that you can't get, that they can't get to, then they're able to destroy you. And when that spirit comes and it destroys a person, it's devastating. My sister went through this. My oldest sister, my mom has 12 children. My oldest sister went through this. My, one of my brothers, let's see, my, my mom, okay, I'm going to kind of like this. My mom's first child, my mom's fifth child, my mom, let's see. Every, like every fourth child was attacked through the spirit. But when this spirit hit me, it didn't affect me like it affected them because I was able to last through it because it wasn't supposed to happen to me. I wasn't supposed to get hit by genocide or I wasn't supposed to be, you weren't supposed to do that through me. Okay. Cause I don't want to live my mother's life. I don't want to live my daddy's life. You know, it's such a evil, evil, wicked, wicked. I'm talking about wicked. It's a wicked spirit. And when people don't have enough care and they don't have love in their heart, they'll do anything for the mighty dollar because it ain't their family. It's not their family. So why should they care? And then they probably twist the story up and made it look like, oh, this person did this, this person did that. And that's why we're doing this to her. When that ain't even the truth. I'm just telling you, y'all. We should be overthrowing the government right now. I don't care what nobody say. We should be overthrowing the government because genociding needs to stop. They need to restore things back the way that it was because it can happen. People just have to want it to happen. They have to be stop being so selfish and stop, stop trying to make churches out of people. Everybody don't believe in Jesus. Everybody don't believe that. Some people believe in God. Some people believe that they are God. So why are you trying to control what somebody believes? Why do you want to be so control of somebody's head? That you want to control the ins and outs of them. What is your problem? What is wrong with you? Huh? Something. I'm talking to somebody out there. Maybe they want to turn me to a horse. Maybe they want to turn me to a pig. I don't know. <laughs> that was so random. That was so random. But it's evil. It's evil. It's a it's a, a really evil, evil, evil thing to participate in. I'm just telling you the truth. It's so evil. I can't believe that I had to go through that. And now they're doing it to my kids. Like that stuff can turn you, if that could put you in a vegetative state to where you can't think no more. 
where you can't think and use your own brain. That's how deadly that stuff is. I know somebody right now, their mind is gone. That's why you shouldn't judge people that don't believe in Jesus. Because this was a Jesus believer. I know my, 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 my sister was a Jesus believer. My brother was a Muslim. You can't, you can't, it affect people all around. And you got to stop judging people and trying to control them. Because you have no clue how many lives you have destroyed. Maybe you do. I kept having these visions, right? I kept having these visions of this little boy being in an electric chair. He was being punished for nothing. I kept seeing it in the spirit, right? I kept seeing, I was living in Brown Deer, right? I'm walking this town saying, there's an area called Brown Deer, the village of Brown Deer, suburbia area, or rural area, whatever. Now, when I was living out there, I was moving to the south side. When I was living out there, there was this boy in the, in the vision. Like, I can see with my natural eyes, I'm seeing it in the spirit, right, with my natural eyes, Okay. So I was, I went in the house one day and I, and it was like, I could see the boy sitting there in the electric chair with his hands. And he like, I did it. And I, and it was like, it was like a movie almost. It was like, it wasn't even real. It wasn't even reality. And he was saying, I didn't, I ain't do nothing. I ain't, I ain't. He was being executed. And it was, and I was saying, what is going on? So then I seen these two. I seen the, a grown man like that too. I seen a grown man like that too. The grown man. <clears throat> excuse me. I can wine. Let me rewind. Let me rewind. There was a, a grown man that was hanging. There was a, a grown man that was hanging. That's what I was seeing. That he was hanging himself. He wasn't hanging himself. He had got hung by white supremacists. And when I went to the South Side, I saw a white, you know how um, back in the day in the 1800s or whatever, or early 1900s, when they used to have them, them little black cars that like Bonnie and Clyde used to be driving to get away cars, those, those cars back then. And however they cranked up or whatever, I was seeing this in a vision. And so, I'm sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. So I was seeing this in a vision. The car was cranking up and it was chasing after the man. The man went back the, the other way. So the car bagged up and went back that way too. So I'm driving down the street and I'm seeing this in the spirit while I'm on the highway on my way to the south side. And it was cranking up and it went back towards Brown Deer. The car did because it was chasing me towards the south. And then it bagged up, went back towards the north. And I was saying, I was trying to get away from these white supremacists. Now... I feel like I want to just start the whole story over. <laughs> I feel like I want to start the whole story over. Okay, let me just, let me just, let me just, okay. Let me just, let me just start over. Okay. So, the man, it was, it was two white supremacist guys. 
that was trying to hang the black man. The black man was in Brown Deer, and then he went to, I don't know where he was in Brown Deer. I can't even explain this story right, because um, <sighs> you know how you get to talking, and you start knowing what certain stuff means. And, um, yeah. Wow. Okay. So, I was, I was, the, the, the man was about to hang, the man was, the, the two white men were trying to hang. They were, they, they were coming from Brown Deer. I was going towards the south and went back the other way towards Brown Deer. And it was like, it was like a back and forth chase. Now, I remember actually experiencing something like that. But um, they ended up hanging the man in the spirit. They ended up hanging him and... I don't know if I'm be able to tell the story. <laughs> Reality. Um. So, it was happening during the time I was moving from Brown there to the South Side. And so, um, I end up, um, seeing the man get hanged for no, for no reason in the spirit, in the spirit I'm seeing this. And I couldn't understand why I was seeing that, but I come to realize that when genocide is, is spiritual, like you see it naturally, but it's also spiritually. When I realized that I was sitting up there saying, how in the world can somebody do something so evil? It's evil. It's evil to do to people. My food don't cool off. Especially when it happens to Innocent people, like people that have done righteous and been a good person and have done things that are, have been a, a, a blessing to people, have been an asset to people, because that's how I have been. And so when those type of things happen to you, you be sitting up there saying, why is this happening? And I've been an asset to people. To society. Genocide is evil. In order to stand up for Black Lives Matter, we first must stand against genocide as a nation. I'm, I'm against genocide. Do you stand with me? Do you stand with me against genocide? Because that's real power. That's where the real power lies in Black Lives Matter. When you can stand up against something that the nation has been doing for over 500 years. Maybe, yeah, something like that. Since B.C. Can you? Will you? Are you afraid? Are you willing to take a risk 
and stand for your people like you say? Are you willing to support one another like you say? Because the truth is in the pudding, baby. Are you willing to sit and whip it up? Or are you going to back away and let people be led astray and fall by the wayside? Because you're too afraid of what they may take from you or that it may happen to you. Malcolm X wasn't scared. He had no fear in him. That's why his spirit still lives. Are you afraid? Will you speak against genocide? Because I almost died on my couch. And now they're hitting my daughter. Right now they've been hitting my daughter, my kids. You can see it in the video. Do you think that it's right to do? Because I don't think so. It's evil. It's evil and there's no way, no shape, no fashion, no form. It's plain evil. And you shouldn't be allowing the people that you are allowing to move in the spirit like they are. You shouldn't be allowing it to happen when you have the power to stop it. If you have the power to stop it, then you should stop it and do right by the people. Because the people deserve to be treated right. Justice is when you stop and bring uh, justice to a situation where somebody has been crucified and treated unrighteously. Whether they you paid them or not. You have the power and the authority to change it, then you should have changed it. To stop it, then you should have stopped it. To block it, then you should block it. And when you have the power to bless, you should bless. Adding no stress to someone. I'm just saying. It ain't right. How can you do something like that and expect the person not to vent, not to feel hurt, not to want revenge? Because you want me to follow everything in the Bible as I've done followed everything in the Bible. Where the blessing at? How fair is that? How fair is it? I mean, you need to really think about that. We're more controlled than you know. Living in America, especially. I told somebody, send me back to Africa. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem going back to Africa. Because just don't send me back broke. Because my ancestors' blood is all across this land. Matter of fact, Indian, Jewish, Black, French, and some white somewhere too. So, leaving a person with nothing lost and destitute is not a righteous compensation compared to what you've taken from them. Genocide is so wicked. It took full control over me. I can feel it on the inside of me. Somebody controlling me. Controlling me on the back. I can feel the pressure on my brain. I was pissed. I was so pissed. 
I was going through this because I had nobody I could call on. I had nobody I could trust. I had nobody that I could go to and be like, hey, I'm going through this. And, and, and when I did have them, they couldn't understand because they don't know. Some people never even heard of it. What is genocide? Because they probably ain't did it in so many years. Oh, but they was looking for the target to this year, baby. These last couple years. Matter of fact, they've been doing this to me longer than I realized. But the friend that they had used, they had been using her. And I think that's what hurts. That's what hurts the most. And what she took from me, because it's like you basically killed my kids in the spirit. You killed my kids in the spirit. How do you think I feel about that? You know, I was sitting here and I was thinking and I was saying, I did no wrong to you. <laughs> the level of betrayal, even my neighbor when I lived in Brown Deer, the level of betrayal, I was a good neighbor to you. I was a good friend to you. I'm talking about I've been having more problems than a little bit from being a good person. And I don't understand why I got to suffer behind that. And at the hands of other people that intentionally do it. So why I got to, why I got to hurt like that? Hmm? Ain't that, ain't that cruel? Ain't that cruel? It's cruel. It's god dang cruel. It's cruel. It's cruel to do to someone. You probably won't understand it unless it happened to you. You cuz it's it hurts like it's spiritually. You going to feel it naturally. The it's oppression. It's oppression. You might think that you're going through depression, but it's really oppression. It's spiritual oppression. Because the gods of this world don't like us. That's how I feel about it. And now it's like, who you want me to be now? What mantle is going to control me now? Oh, now your just recompense is to leave me with nothing. Leave me by myself. Make it hard for me. Have everyone hinder me and say, who cares about you? Leave you left for dead in the spirit. Trample over you. You know, that's why I be telling people I will never preach the gospel. What? No, I'm going to tell you what happened to me. I'm going to tell you what's going on in my life. But to be a preacher and deliver people, who going to deliver me when I'm going to get delivered? I ain't about to go preach and delivering nobody because I'm not Jesus. You might be treating me like him, but I'm not him. You better, because I ain't him. I ain't Allah. I ain't Buddha. I'm not them. I'm Kiana. And I'll grease these hands down and let you feel them. Which way you want me? 
How do you want it? How do you feel? Just saying. I'm just saying. You could see the genocide in me. You could see that spirit. You could see it. Put her with this person. Put her with that person. You're going to be by yourself. You're going to do this and that. Cursing, cursing, curses. You could hear it in the spirit. You might not be knowing who you're hearing, but you could hear it in the spirit. But I'll be knowing who I'm hearing, though. That's the difference. That's the difference. It's evil. It's evil. It's evil. And ain't no way that people should have to go through and experience something so wicked. Because it's definitely wicked, baby. It's definitely wicked. I don't know. It's wicked and it's unjust. For my mama kids. Probably now you wait. It might have been hitting some other ones now that I done been talking about it. But it's wicked to take things out on innocent people. My nose runner. It's wicked. Oh, I'm innocent, baby. <laughs> More innocent do you know. You might not, you might not heard that, but cause you ain't, you been misinformed. But baby, I'm the good one. I'm the righteous person, which I don't want to be sometimes because being a righteous person is like you always get hit hard with stuff like this. It's always like that. I need some tissue. Excuse me. So, yeah. I'm back. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. You know, it's um, it's wicked. It's a wicked... Um, it's wicked to do towards somebody. It's wicked to uh, give a, a, a evil compensation to somebody that's been righteous. It's like, okay, Lord, like my granny say, Lord, is you on vacation? <laughs> Where you at, Lord? Is you on vacation? <laughs> That's what my granny said. So, uh, yes, y'all. Something has to change. Something has to give. It has to get better because I don't want to be somebody else. I want to be Kiana. I want my mama to be my mama. I don't want to walk in her. I'm trailblazing my own path. So stop oppressing me with the experiences of my ancestors. We are in the millennium. This is 2020. Why are you trying to take me back to <laughs> the damn graveyard? Hell. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> For real. Y'all trying y'all take y'all trying to take me back. And don't try to push me so far up that I gotta be somebody else's following somebody mama's footsteps. That I gotta be in they their temple in their house. No, I have created my own destiny. I have walked through these different various experiences for me to create a, a blessed life for me and my kids. So if you are one that participates in genocide, excuse me, move the fuck out the way. Okay. Because one day it may be your daughter, it may be your son, it may be your mama, it may be your papa. 
It may be somebody dear to your heart that you care about. And if you have to endure that process, if you make it through it, then you make it through. But don't be one to oppress somebody. So, because you're killing the very thing that I've birthed in the spirit. And then, and then it'll be a matter of time before something happens in the natural. And that's not right. That's not right. I could say the names of some of the people that have taken place, that have participated in this evil behavior. I could tell you some of the names of the people. But me saying the names of the people, what is that going to do? Are they going to lock them away? The government needs to be overthrown by righteous people. People with righteous hearts. Because you can't speak on a subject matter that you participate in. Black lives matter to black people that care about black people. But black people that is out here doing devious things and then you want to act like you're the savior of the world, not. You don't deserve any recognition or any acknowledgement for that matter. My name is Kiana Brown and I approve this message. I'm signing off.